This is the Garmin Phoenix 7X. It represents everything the GPS giant Garmin has to throw at a fitness device. Is it worth ditching your older device for the 7X? That's what I will attempt to cover in this video. Welcome to the channel, everyone. Dog Walker Dave here. Today, I'll attempt to answer the question I posed at the beginning of this video. Is it worth it to upgrade from an older Phoenix to the Phoenix 7X or from an older device to the Phoenix 7X. So let's dig in. The first thing I want you to keep in mind is that no fitness device or piece of gear will make you a better athlete. Only hard work, consistency, a little bit of genetics, and possibly some gear will help you become a better athlete. Having better gear does help, but it doesn't take the place of proper preparation and putting the time in. Also, this is not an inexpensive piece of gear. But maybe if you're looking at purchasing the 7X Sapphire Shoulder, you might be the type of person who spends $400 on a pair of race shoes that you only use a couple of times. Or maybe even you spend $10,000 on a triathlon or a mountain bike or a road bike. Or maybe even have a high altitude tent or some other fancy equipment. But you might also be the type of person who has saved since you have an older watch like this Ambit 2 or you have a Phoenix 3 or... Never had a GPS sport watch before. Maybe you're in that camp, so you're in one of two camps. Well, here are some reasons that you might consider upgrading to the Phoenix 7X. First one is the screen size. If you have a 6X, you already get that. But with someone like me, older, eyes are not so good, especially when I'm wearing contacts, having that extra screen real estate, it makes a big difference. I can see the little details a little bit better on the screen with mapping and just the user interface of the watch itself. You can see it a little bit better when the screen is a little bit bigger. Now compared to the six, the screen area is 16% larger using the area of a circle, pi or squared. And compared to the Koros Apex Pro, not the Vertex 2, but the Apex Pro or the Sunto Peak or Polar Grit X or any watch for that matter with a 1.2 inch screen, the extra 0.2 inches may not seem like a lot. That is approximately a 37% screen area increase going from a Polar Grit X or some tool peak or something like that over to the Phoenix 7X. And for this guy, bigger screen is better. Reason number two, the battery life and having solar charging. It doesn't hurt to have a battery that lasts approximately twice as long as a regular Phoenix 6. The regular Garmin Phoenix 6 has a GPS recording of approximately 36 hours. And these are just numbers that were given are given by Garmin. So take it with a grain of salt and up to 14 days as a smartwatch or just as a regular watch. And the 7X has a claimed GPS without solar of 89 hours and 28 days as a standard watch. More than double the battery life. And that is a nice feature to have because you don't have to worry about plugging in. If you're going away for a weekend, don't worry about it. If you're going away for a week, most people won't have to worry about charging their watch if they go away somewhere on vacation or wherever, go to a race for a week. Now, with that being said, if you're going to do an ultra race and the race is a 200 miler where it takes three or four days or whatever it happens to take, yeah, you'll want to make sure that your watch is topped up before the race, but for almost everybody on the planet, 89 hours of GPS use is more than enough. And the only GPS watch manufacturer that has better battery life, to my knowledge, is Koros, especially with their Vertex 2 and their Vertex and their Apex Pro for that matter. The next thing to add in is a flashlight. Now, I know some of you are thinking, what a gimmick. Who would want a flashlight on a watch? It's about as bright as the LED light in the back of most people's modern day smartphone. In order to activate the flashlight on a watch, you double click the top left hand button and it actually is quite bright. And you can also set it for different functions, running functions, etc., where you have the watch on a strobe. So that helps with safety. And you can also set it where you shine a red light in front. And that's a handy feature to have, especially when you're running in the dark, helps with safety. And it also helps if you have to read anything from the light and you don't want to disturb other, other people with the bright white LED, so you have a red LED. It's really handy. The next upgrade when you get a 7X is a touchscreen. As a standalone feature, in my opinion, touchscreens don't belong on GPS watches, but it comes in handy when you have to use the map or if you want to look at other things on the screen and instead of using the buttons, you can scroll up and down, you can 
tap, open up, battery, battery, battery life, all that kind of stuff. But where it really comes in handy is to use the map. You can move around the screen so that you can see different parts of the map instead of using the buttons. But it's kind of a pain when you're using a regular Phoenix 6 where you don't have a touchscreen interface. Next thing is a faster processor. Just like with computers, faster processor helps, but it's not a make or break. With the new GPS chipset, it's going to load a little bit quicker, but it's not gonna make a huge difference when you're moving around the interface. It's not like you're trying to render videos on a computer. It's not the same type of thing. Yeah, the watch is a little bit more responsive when it has a faster processor, but it's not that big of a deal. Now, in my opinion, any one of those features, does it make it worth upgrading to a Phoenix 7X? No, not at all. That's just my opinion on it. But when you put all the features together, especially the battery life on a 7X compared to a 6, or even a 7, not really when you compare it to a 6X, and having the touch screen just for mapping functions only. And then surprisingly for me, the flashlight, is it worth the upgrade? Well, again, it depends on who you are. If you have a 6X or Garmin Phoenix 6 for that matter, it's not really worth the upgrade. But if you have a watch that's three or four or five or 10 years old and you wanna get the latest and greatest because you've been saving for a long time, 7X is the way to go. It is a bigger device. It's only four millimeters bigger as far as the case diameter from the Phoenix 6, but it's only about four or five grams heavier. And on my wrist, and I have pretty small wrists actually, on my wrist, it doesn't feel like it's that much bigger because it's almost like the area, because it's a larger device, the area to weight ratio or the density for that matter, if you want to go there, it feels like it's spread out over your wrist a little bit more. And with the wider strap, it doesn't seem quite as heavy on the wrist. Again, that's just something small to consider. Bigger on the wrist, takes up a little bit more real estate on your wrist, but it's not a deal breaker for me, that is. The good thing is if you buy something like the Phoenix 7X, consider it an investment because it will last for years. I know people that are still rocking a Phoenix 3 after five or six years, still works. Yeah, the battery's not gonna work as well as it did when you first bought it, but that's just the nature of batteries. If you purchase something like this, looking to have it for a number of years and it will still serve you well. Well, thanks for watching everyone. I appreciate the support. Maybe if you've gotten to this point in the video, hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps out the channel. And as I say in all my videos now, make sure you get outside. Thanks again for watching everyone. Peace. Take number 27, I don't know. Dogs barking, neighbors mowing the lawn, people in the house wandering around. It's all part of the fun, everyone.